From Australia to Tennessee. From Mexico to Tennessee. A Uganda to Tennessee. The transition from Uganda to Tennessee, I can say spiritually it was a hard decision to make because I knew I was leaving my family behind. I, I was curious about my career here just because of because of the presence and I um, I wanted to get to know a bit more about you know the 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 large kind of Christian presence here in the South and Like a water in the sea. I wanted to go on a mission trip to Southeast Asia because when I heard about it from a friend, um, I was on fire for Christ at that time. And what better way to um, learn more about Jesus and be able to share about Jesus than to go on a mission trip and play softball at the same time. About a year ago, um, I had a feeling similar to what is uh, said in Isaiah 6 8. Um, I really heard God telling me, um, asking me who we should send, and I, I was feeling as though I was, I was meant to go. Um, and I, I told him, Here I am, Lord, send me to you know, a different country where I don't know the language or the culture, and uh, show me the people that are ready to know you. You know, our lives are so consumed with basketball sometimes, and we get so caught up in the pursuits that it takes to, to have excellence within our programs. And one of the things that's very important to me and to my personal faith is I just want to do more and want to share more. I went over to Poland uh, with Athletes in Action twice, once as a head coach and once as a player. Well, my first motivation was back when I was a player and I wanted to go play against good competition in basketball and see the world and then also uh, explore a little bit more of my faith with other people in other countries. I went to Puerto Rico this past summer with Athletes in Action. Um, I guess the highlight for the trip would be uh, not only playing, being able to play and coach against the, uh, the people in Puerto Rico, but also that was the first time I was able to share my testimony uh, in front of a large group of people. And, uh, Lift up your eyes. It's, it's been uh, a lot of fun to have a continuing relationship with Polish basketball and Polish basketball coaches. Um, I went over initially in 2008 and it was to do a clinic. We, we just did purely a coaching clinic at that point in time. And then I went over again this past summer, which would have been the summer of 2012, and that was to do a coach mentor leader. It was the first clinic of its kind that I'm aware of in Poland. And it basically was a, it was a coaching clinic but more. It had to do with leadership and communication skills and you know how to be a, a better professional and how to be a better coach and to be a mentor and a leader to young people. And here just a few months ago, we had seven Polish coaches come over and watch both our practices and the men's practices and sit and visit with both coaching staffs. So it's been fun to see that relationship continue and evolve. Last season, Josh Richardson went up to uh, Poland and Germany with AIA, had a great experience. Uh, he's in a sophomore year now, and I think you see the transformation from as a freshman to a sophomore. He's really grown as a player, grown as a person, uh, really trying to uh, take on a leadership role on our team. From Tennessee to the nations. From Tennessee to Puerto Rico. From Tennessee to East Asia. From Tennessee to Poland. From Tennessee to Southeast Asia.